hey guys welcome to my youtube channel in this series tutorial i'll be showing you how to create a travel blog website step by step without skipping any steps and for making this tutorial i'll be using astra free theme and elementor so along with the astra free theme and free elementor i'll be using few plugins which is also free so you don't have to worry about and you don't have to spend any money on it and for this tutorial I have already completed my design using Figma. So you might thinking that we are, I don't know Figma. Well, you don't have to learn Figma at all. I am also not a pro UI UX designer. Even I just create Figma and I used Figma for my client website. But uh, it's very helpful. If you just take a look around, there are lots of tutorials regarding Figma. And I will share with you the Figma file so that you can follow with me. And you can follow this tutorial step by step uh, using the Figma file and I will attach the Figma file link into the descriptions where you can simply download the file and start right away. After completing this tutorial, you'll be able to create any kind of blog, not only travel blog, but there are lots of category in the blogging category, right? So we already know that um, travel blog, food blog, or there's some lots of blog and I, I cannot remember everyone even uh, I, I, I don't have the blog name in my mind at this moment but um, you already know that I, I just I have my mind in travel blog food blog recipe blog or it's uncountable anyone can create a blog based on any topic let's say mommy's blog father's blog or any kind of blog right well so if you follow this tutorial you'll be able to create any kind of blog not only travel blog i hope you understand well now um just uh here i just want to share with you the sample what you will going to create in this series tutorial so the blog design looks like this you can easily edit any post any page any section inside your blog using elementor page builder even you don't have to learn code if you have some basic knowledge regarding html and css that would be fine you don't have to learn so many coding you don't have to be a pro coder so there will be a bonus part in this video not in this video in the series tutorial well the bonus part is uh, you already know that astra is a, one of the most popular wordpress theme and astra has the pro features which comes with a pro plugin so Astra is a theme and Astra Pro is an add-on like a WordPress plugin. So it will allow you to explore more advanced feature inside your WordPress dashboard, not directory. Well, so it will allow you to enable more features inside your WordPress dashboard. So it will also help you to reduce the number of plugins on your dashboard. You don't have to use a bunch of plugins. I have found a client which has almost more than 100 plugins in his dashboard. So I was surprised. More than 100 plugins in his dashboard. Even most of them are active, not inactive. So I hope you got my point. And Astra Pro add-ons comes with a lot of features, which I really like them and I really uh, love them to use. Uh, while I'm using Astra Pro, it makes so many easier for everything. Let's, I will uh, show you in this tutorial, in this series tutorial, how to create and design your blog archive page, even how to customize your single blog page and some necessary things that I would like to share with you regarding Astro Pro. So it will be a lot of fun and I hope every single steps you will learn so many things in this series tutorial. So you might be thinking that Riyadh, what kind of preparation do I need to start working this project with you? Well. If you have domain and hosting, that's perfect. But if you don't have, no worry. In this complete series tutorial, I'll be using local flywheel. So if you don't know what is local flywheel, I have added another video link, which is from Freddy Corp. You can watch this video and you can simply install the local flywheel on your computer. So it works really well. Every single computer, like if you have Mac, if you have Windows operating system or Linux, you can use it. So I hope you will be enjoying this tutorial. And the second thing is that 
your patience your dedication you need to be patient and dedicated so you have to follow the tutorial along with me and also you have to just follow every single steps that i will show you there are lots of ways that you can create any kind of thing using elementor using um astra but you have to learn the exact proper way so if you want to learn the exact and proper way then you can follow every single video where i have listed every single details here so that's all from my end and without further ado let's jump into the computer thanks for watching